Hey everybody, this is Speaks, and welcome to another episode of uh, Ruby Jump Chain Villains. Today we're here with uh, Midnight, Silver, and Azul. Midnight's in the background though for the most part. Uh, probably won't be talking too much today. But uh, yeah, don't know where Rogue is. Uh, he's just kind of disappeared today. Maybe, uh, you know, I'll ping him too. I'll just, I'll just, at Rogue. Well, I love how his name is Rogue the Crusader. I think Warris put that there. I'm going to change it though, so it's Rogue the Crusader with capital C. Surprise, Warris could stack <laughs> I would have put Rogue the Rogue. Yeah, Rogue the Rogue. But anyway, so uh, last episode, uh, we had a couple of people, you know, you guys moved back and forth, had a couple of fights, um, getting through everything, uh, and you know, all that other fun stuff for the most part. Kind of a tough journey. Um, you guys had to watch um, Ruby's mother. No, sorry. Yeah, Ruby's mother's best friend. Wait, my connection server yes. interrupted. Uh, roll, roll twenty. You want? Oh, okay. We good? I, I had the same problem just so. We we good roll twenty. Perfect timing. You know what happened last time this happened? Roll twenty. You freaking kicked me out of the game for like two hours. You want to do this again? I will hurt you. I will personally take your ass and I will rip it in half. No? Is it still you don't doing want to do that? You don't want... Yeah? Can I add some apple good? sauce to those eyeballs? Good. It's good. It's good. Anyways, so last episode... <laughs> well, we know who has got the bad rolls again. <laughs> but anyway... So last episode, uh, you guys, well, why did you, you double click it? I hate you, freaking mouse. Uh, you guys talked with Ruby's uh, mother's uh, best friend, who then died for Yang by punching her in the side so hard she left an imprint on her rib cage, uh, and then died in right Yang's arms. Uh, Rusted left, which made Ruby leave after him. And uh, uh, me and Adam had a tussle with all. Yeah. Adam killed the person that you just said. My character is mourning the death while trying to cope with Adam still killing people. <clears throat> yeah, and Adam, of course, just doesn't give a crap and he just left. <laughs> yep, and I have a wardrobe change, guys. So, he's basically, uh... Let's pull up this picture, hold on. This picture, but instead of red, it's white. Yeah. Okay. Also, uh, um, I have the mask still. It's, I cut it in half, so it's just the one side mask where it's like it's gonna go an eye. So, and it's like a full face mask now. It's just a hmm. one eye. So my character still acts similar to what he did. But he has a more cold demeanor when it comes to battle and strategy and planning when it comes to that kind of stuff. And he's more serious when it comes to this. So. Mm -hmm. He takes on the persona of Mara <laughs> Uchiha. <laughs> <laughs> I am modern. <laughs> Grant. Uh, Actually, yeah, I I'll... think I'm more moderate than you guys, the way I act. Your personality, email-wise, we do. Don't even try that. You, no, you're Sasuke. Stop this. You're Sasuke. Maybe. A little bit. <laughs> no, you are Sasuke. Yeah. Zul, you're Naruto. Go chase your Sasuke. Because of his... I thought Ruby would be Naruto. No, if you're thinking about it, <laughs> if we think about it, Azul's Azul, you're Naruto 2.0. You're Naruto 1.0. No, 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 no. He's not Naruto. He's <laughs> I am not Choji. I am not fat. <laughs> nah, yeah. No. If anything, Rogue Shikamaru. You're Kiba. You're Kiba. You're the dog fawnus. You're Kiba. No, actually, um, Rogue is Shikamaru. It's the way he acts. No, yeah, Shikamaru. He's Shikamaru. We oh, have, man. um... And then we have um, um, Azul is uh, not Choji, uh, Kiba, because he's a dog fawn. He's Kiba. 
I'm over I'm here. Sage mode, Kiba. <laughs> okay, what character, what character is Neo then? Nah. Uh, no, friggin, she would be, uh, uh Sakura? Karin. No, not Sakura, Sok the Hinata. Karin? Oh, no. Oh. Well, he's Sasuke. If that's the case, then that doesn't make any sense. I'm, no, she's not Sakura. He was not Sakura. No, she no she's not Hinata, Hinata either. No, she wouldn't be Hinata either. Maybe Eno. If anything, she would be... No, I think she's more close to either Eno or Kairi. Uh, Redhead red Uzuma <laughs> red Uzumaki, then. Alright, let's continue this. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> But anyways, so yeah, so you guys basically watched, uh, um, watched Ruby's mother's best friend. God, it's so weird saying that. I'm just don't say assistant. <laughs> uh, you just watched the assistant get violently murdered. I, uh, you know, best Adam friend of left. Ruby's mother. Yeah, friend of Ruby's mother. Adam left. Uh, Yang seems to be taking it pretty damn hard, considering, you know, someone just died over her. Uh, Ruby left along with, uh, Midnight was seeing it, but you know, it's been uh, I would say a couple of hours maybe since then. Um, mm -hmm. and you we're know, all together again, yeah. You guys are mostly in there, uh, just kind of chilling for the most part. Yang seems to be uh, taking you know, some things to heart more or less. Uh, also seems to be a lot more aggravated with a weird, you know, it, it, it's a weird feeling when you look at her for the most part, but you assume that's just because she wants to beat everyone to a pulp at the moment, and that's scary. Um, or she's pulp. <laughs> Yang's like that. Uh, why is... Hell no. Yeah, why is this anyway. just, you know, irritated with life, for the most part? <laughs> well, uh, I, I would think Blake would notice Yang's and my personality right now. Because yeah. if you think about it, I bonded with Blake mm. and, a little bit, and Yang is her person. So I think she would notice me also. Also, I don't have the mask on right now because with I'm only have the mask on when I'm uh, evil. Yeah. But yeah, Blake kind of like looks at two of you, and she she looks at you because you know she just kind of leaving Yang to her business. Uh, are you okay? Uh, this is another person Adam has taken up and killed. First my family, and now this person. Not that I knew her well, but still. Well, if it helps, Adam has killed many people that I have loved. So, we're all in Yeah. Trouble. That's true. It's funny Andy. how me and you relate the most when it comes to... Mm. Well, sometimes it takes the hardest of troubles to make the best of friends. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I never showed my eyes. That seems to be pressed against Azul. And you're not quite sure if she's angry, about to cry, or about to break him in you know, half. But it's one of those. No, you're not quite sure what. I just realized, Sin, they've never seen my eyes. I always mm -hmm. that they, because my mask is only on evil, but I have my hood on. they never seen my eyes. They don't know I'm a because mm -hmm. they've never seen my snake eyes. I don't have the hoodie or the mask on. Yang, does she notice? Because she's always thought I was a human. Yang? Uh, not Yang. Uh, Blake kind of notices this, but does, she doesn't really remark on it, as she knows a lot of people tend to hide their things. Um, mm. And yeah, they'll hear that later. Okay. But yeah. I, hmm? I, I'm looking over at Yang, because I know she took mm -hmm. right now, so... Just watching how it happens. Yeah, he eventually, like, kind of, like, picks up Azul and kind of puts him down next to her, uh, mostly so she have a frontal view. Uh, as you guys, uh, kind of hear, kind of see Ruby kind of walking in, it looks like she had a, uh, a fight with a 20-pound blender, uh, that decided to try to eat her, and then she lost several times in a round of boxing with this blender. You're not quite sure how she is still alive at the moment but that that those sands are not pleasant and she's like i have arrived ow everything hurts so 
so much. I'm assuming you gonna hug her, Zul. <laughs> I mean, you can talk, Zul. <laughs> yeah. Um... <laughs> a barrel. How do you find a barrel of water? You don't, you're not even like picking up a cup or anything. You just slam down a barrel next to her. <laughs> okay. Well, I, I walk over to her after he gives her. I look at her and and ask, "Are you okay?" She's like, well, I went out to find uh, Midnight. He's the one that gave me that. Uh, he's the one that left that letter for you to find to give to me. Uh, oh, oh yeah, yeah, Midnight Shade. I went out to walk him, and turns out the uh, the the desert is very angry, uh, very very angry. There's a couple things that were in there which were quite interesting to find, uh, including a weird tomb. Although I wasn't sure if it was a tomb or if it was like a ginormous secret vault or if it was like maybe a giant cave. For like Bear Grimm, like Ursos. I don't know. Would there be a giant cave for? Anyways. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, we, we 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 talked about a couple of things, and I learned that uh, their team is going to be going to Mistral, so it's something for us to find. That's interesting. That's good. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm glad you found a lead for you guys. Mm -hmm. I pat her on the head. Good job. <laughs> Does Yang get angry about when she hears my name? Yang. Ooh, yeah. Plot, you can see her noticeably getting angrier. Her hair starts to play up softly before she stands up, walks out to her sister, and just bear hugs her and says, Pack up your stuff, we're going. Yeah, Ruby's not going to argue with this. <laughs> not even the slightest. It looks like so, Yang is about to rip her head off, so. Yeah, I look at Yang here. after this happens. Are you okay? Because I saw how that... Me and you were the two most affected by Adam. She looks you at okay? you and you would swear she would be crying if not for a fact it seems like her tears are actually burning on her face. Like, they're evaporating on her face before they can even fall. As she just kind of growls at you softly. I just watched Adam murder the one person that could tell me anything about my mother in extreme detail that would be willing to someone who didn't even know me but took a blade to the stomach to prevent me from dying because she knew my mother well i look at i look at her dead dead, dead in mm -hmm. like her eyes with she now sees the snake eyes well mm -hmm. let me tell you adam is someone that I will help you get, because I have a I have a grudge to settle with him. For the same thing he did to my family that he did to her. So, let's just say, me and you have some unfinished business with him, so don't worry. <clears throat> we got this. I give her a bone-chilling smile. <laughs> she kind of like, you know, cracks her knuckles as she kind of stares at you. If I find him, I'm going to kill him. And I will thank you for that if you kill him. If you don't, and I'm there with you, we'll do it together. <laughs> Ruby hands a uh, a message to Yang from Roasted. Uh, <laughs> no one right knows this is all. But um, Ruby hands a message to Yang as Yang looks at it, and she's like, huh, find your own path. Yeah, I'll find it. As don't be covered in his blood. So I look, I look over to Azul, and I look over the Rogue's character mm -hmm. somewhere in the background. He's just blending in, you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I look at them and say, "Hey, this was asleep." Okay, well, uh, I look over the Rogue's character. Do you want to stay here and get some, I guess, information on anything that could help the academy? Well, I guess Azul, I have to carry him, I guess, <laughs> back to a diff back to somewhere else. Hopefully, I have to get him there. Probably not house. softly. We uh, we should probably get some sleep, as it's been a while since any of us got proper rest. And I might want to find the maiden's uh vault, as that's what we're here to deal with, uh, deal with uh, in the first place. Yeah. 
By the way, they're not the Ruby team isn't there at the moment. Yeah, they've already packed up and left since they don't actually have anything. Yeah. Do they stay the night actually? Because wouldn't they be tired? Oh, they just Yang arrive? is not gonna let them. <laughs> oh, <laughs> they can okay. sleep on the way. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So, I I'm gonna I look at Rogue's say, mm -hmm. Okay, how about you look? For anything you can find on them. Me and Azul, I look over at him. He has blood dripping down his face, uh, <laughs> down the side of his head. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Me and him will go back to the main base and recon and give information to mm -hmm. the mistress. Good plan. I heard from uh, the Ruby that there was a thing that she found in the, in the, the uh, shifting sands. So I'm going to go and take a little bit of a look over there. Good luck. I definitely think that could be looking into. She said it was a vault of some kind. Of, so that could be what we're looking for. Be careful out there. Mm. She did not look very pleasant when she came back. So, you know, twisting sands are not very pleasant to go through. Speaking from definitely. experience. <laughs> definitely. <clears throat> mm -hmm. He quickly leaves. I look over to Azul. Wait. Hmm. <laughs> Hold on, let's see if the headmaster does notice. As you guys... Uh, as you guys, uh... You know, as you look over to Azul, you hear a very large blast in the distance. Over in the sands. Hmm. That sounds interesting. <clears throat> well, hopefully, it's nothing big. Mm -hmm. The headmaster looks at you too. Well, if you ever need a pl place to stay, they do have the hotel. Uh, but our town is not one for very exciting views, mostly because the excitement comes from outside. Yes. Uh, thank you, headmaster. Well, I have to patch up Azul. Um, but after that, we probably will be heading out to check off, check to see if we can find our other teammate. He got lost in the fight. I think he said something about heading to his home somewhere in the Vale to see if something happened, see if anything he could find there. Mm. Maybe we can find him there. <clears throat> so, uh, thank you for hospitality. Our other teammate, um, Rogue would probably staying here uh, to help out whenever you can. He you knows. So. It's always good to have a teammate who can be here. Yeah. It shall be difficult for this town losing such a valuable member, but we shall live on. I talked to yeah. Ironwood about this. That's not going to be so much fun. <laughs> um, if you talk to Ironwood, mm -hmm. tell him. Tell them that um, Crow's uh, other student mm -hmm. says hi, and that watch out for a um, so watch out for something because I heard something going on with Adam that something might happen in uh, so uh, somewhere near Mantle. Hmm. <laughs> we will definitely keep an eye out. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I pick up Azul and go to Mistress. Explosion time. Oh, yeah. As I said, the explosions happened like a little bit earlier. Yeah. <laughs> we, we already heard that. But, yeah. So, um, I'm assuming you guys rest and try to patch up Azul and whatnot, get the night over with? Yeah. So, I patch him up and we say the night we're going to the Salem. Mm hmm. Can I roll? Oh yeah, I guess my character will be there then. Mm -hmm. So after the night passes and whatnot, uh, Rogue is still watching over the area and whatnot. He has shockingly found sand. Uh, he's found a couple of things which may be uh, on the path. Um, Midnight found it. Midnight returned with, uh, to, with to see Rogue. And... Yeah. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, midnight well, no, found the vault. <laughs> oh, jeez. 
You yeah, rolled that, a that 20, point, bud. That point is fun. Um, <laughs> I can't believe I got I know, right? <laughs> Just out of the place. So, uh, but, uh, yeah. So you found, uh, you actually found the location of the vault, and hence why you're coming back to find them after you found all the other stuff. But you come back, uh, to see them. Let me put that in person. Well, me and, uh, Next. me and Azul, uh, see him returning. Hey, uh, midnight. Hey. So, uh, well, let you know, I'm gonna... Me and Azul will head back to Salem, give our missing report. Mm -hmm. um, Rogue is out there right now. Rogue is out there right now. So, yeah. Burnett is just out. <laughs> yeah. Do you think I should just leave him here and I go? Oh, you could. Because he's out cold. <laughs> well, I did find some interesting stuff. That's good. And I think we might need the introduction of a new type of dust, if possible. Mm -hmm. mm. Apparently, it apparently it means Salem have called it void dust. Mm. Okay. Well, well, do you have anything I should report to um, Salem before I leave? Anything yeah. I should mention her? I don't think so. Oh no, you found Wait. the vault. That would be <laughs> okay. Well, you found your vault. You found the vault on the way back. Mm -hmm. Well, I could always go back to the anyway. mm -hmm. Actually, yeah, I might need some help getting there. I'm not good at directions. <laughs> so you just bring oh. the entire group with you. Just carry Burnett with you. Yeah. That's fine. Besides, Bro, get Burnett. <laughs> Fair point. What was that, uh, Garissa? What are you saying, Garissa? Give me a minute. Give me a minute. We're very professional. Give me a second here. <laughs> we are the most professional. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. You are still not awake. <laughs> he is so out cold. Right, Gravity right. just yeah. accidentally hits him. Heavier. No, no, no. I was just saying. Like, no, my character says my character contacts Salem and Reese and says, "Like, Miss Salem, we got it. We're returning just for a minute. We got something." She nods. Where'd your character go? Oh, there it is. She's hidden in the sand. <laughs> so you guys take. Uh, I'm assuming you guys take a plane over there. Mm, I guess we turn into our pokey form. Me and uh, me and Jim yeah, can turn into our pokey forms and flying over there. Well, actually, I, we might be able to do it halfway. And take the rest of the way on foot and flying might be better that way than mm -hmm. So okay, yeah. But you guys take... eventually get there. It takes you a day or two, uh, but you guys eventually get back into the throne room. With Salem, let me just put you guys. Is she the here. only one there? I know, all three of you are. Well, four of you actually. Rose is alongside you, just quiet as always. Uh, Brunette, did you finally get up? Uh, he does actually, he has two strength. Whoops, that's two of you. Is, uh. Oh, you is did Cinder or yeah. any of them there? Huh? Can I see my. Cinder, C uh, Tyrion, or. The rest of them are not. Uh, Cinder okay. is currently in Vale trying to find the, uh,. Uh, Fall Relic. Maiden's thing. Watts is inside of Atlas. You mean Haven for Fall? Uh, no, Haven is Spring. Oh, you're right. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> I... <laughs> you're right. Okay, <laughs> so... When you get there... Mm -hmm. for you guys there, Rogue is just kind of in the corner, more or less. He seems to blend in with literally everything. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, Burnett is practically shouting at the world um, <laughs> by the time he finally gets up and uh, Sam looks at the, the four of you. So what news have you brought? We found the ball ma We found the Summer Maiden's ball. Hmm. We also have news that Ruby's team has over to Mistral, 
links have been night here, and that's mm -hmm. good because now they're out of viewers for vacuum. Yeah, yeah. We also have new. Also have news that Adam, I would recommend, is a loose cannon. Something mm -hmm. has happened, and he knows too much. I would say, mm -hmm. Mr. Salem. He knows too much about our team, and her. to that extent, would be you also. Wouldn't be the best choice to keep working with him. In my opinion, you can use that information for yourself, Mr. Mm -hmm. Salem. He has outweighed his usefulness, so his con uh, his uh, contract will be terminated. He didn't have much in the first uh, place, but we have other fight fang utilities to use. Oh, that's oh, that's right. You go check on my thing. Hmm. Have you all seen the news? What happened? <laughs> uh, no. Yeah, I think Zul is just like passing on you. <laughs> <laughs> he gets so angry, he just bashes his head on the table. And falls over. He gets so he gets so drowsy. It's like, you know what? What's so up? What's happened? <laughs> she pulls up yeah. a uh, a monitor of sorts as the uh, the latest news starts popping up. And the first thing you notice is a it's Atlas news, only thing that you've seen of Atlas in the past couple of days. And b it's on fire. The uh the, the the uh the where not the 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 webcaster what the fuck is the name of the people who do that stuff the not interviewer the uh oh where are their names the people who stand there and start telling you everything you mean those news reporters yes news reporters thank you um. <laughs> So the news reporter is standing there as she's explaining everything. She's like, we just got confirmation that the warehouses inside of Atlas are currently being destroyed. We're not entirely sure what kind of destruction is happening in there, but from what we have learned so far, 90% of all Atlas military, all Atlas robotic military has been either disabled or destroyed. We're not quite sure who was the starter of this, but it appears that um, Atlas's military has gone at least halfway down. On the plus side, Atlas still has their uh, human personnel, but their military seems to be down for the mo uh, currently. With a few exceptions, those that weren't inside the warehouses, for example, are still fully operational. However, it does not appear like Atlas will be uh, maneuvering of uh, bots for a rather long time. Uh, Salem looks at the rest of you. It would appear that that Diana girl that you had met previously started to bomb the warehouses. Her own warehouses as well. It seems like the paranoia is finally caught up to her. Hmm. However, she also bombed Mr. Watt's warehouses at the same time. Mm -hmm. She knowing might. her, seems why we were making. Think... She decided to uh, take it upon herself to remove from the situation. She also wanted to get any rid of evidence. Mm. It's also why she probably destroyed her own. Exactly. Mister Watts has uh, wanted to call you himself, but at the moment he's um preoccupied with. Well, fighting her for the most part. She keeps randomly trying to kill him as he keeps randomly trying to kill her. They're all they're both in Atlas. Uh, at the moment they are in different warehouses. He's trying to survive for the most part and he needs backup. So you four are going to save him. Very well. Yes, also, um also Miss Salem, do we have any of the prototypes of that new dust ready? We do not. Uh, it's don't take me a while to understand how this uh, dust works, especially since we got such a small amount of it. Very well. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. So, of course, he brings back some potions for you. But yeah, so she nods to you before she's like... And when while you're there, attempt to find the Winter Maiden's uh, vault. Using her, we might be able to enter there. That's depending on if she's a maiden, of course, but it's easier to find out when you have her hand pressed against the door 
And if she's not the maiden, well, her head was nice. Okay. We'll see. Well, let's let's get the let's get going, guys. We got a, we got a scientist to get rid of and one to bring back. I will give you transportation to the uh, to Atlas uh, itself. They don't allow many places in there, but I have a few people on hand for this exact purpose. That's how I keep uh, game Doctor Watson there. How shocked was the shopkeep when I went in and bought all the potions that I used? He's probably seen worse. Uh, you, of course, had to go to, like, um, a different region of the map. But he's seen worse. Uh, not a whole lot worse, because who we? But uh, he's definitely seen worse, so you weren't too far from the run of the mill. Mm. Okay, well, let's head out. Mm -hmm. I wonder how many potions I would have downed at that point. <laughs> Quite a few. Uh, money I wouldn't imagine. Not much problem. But anyway, so you guys uh, get on your way. Of course, with uh, Rogue's Connections and uh, Salem's Connections, you guys easily make your way to Atlas, more or less. I mean, just, wow, I have not touched this place for a while. Jesus. Who the heck is that? Yeah, uh, we forgot. Um... Who are we? I have not touched that for a while. Yeah, because we don't have him <laughs> We don't have Silas. We have me and the Zul now. I just put you guys over there somewhere. And we'll put you right there. We'll put... Who's the last one? Burnett? Burnett. You right there. There we go. My hey character guys, says... me, me and the are uh, tall as fuck. My <laughs> character says to the others, says, I, I think we should also take a look out for Team Phoenix as well. Just in case. This is their homeland. Aren't they from... Mantle part though. Uh, they they're they're mostly um, guns for hire for the most part, but this is where mm. they get most emissions since this is where Ironwood's thing has been. Mm. Wait, Phoenix? Is, no, it's not. Bro, no. Hmm? Oh, I'm, just, I'm actually sh <laughs> that lion. <laughs> <laughs> the lion's fun, but yeah. No, I'm shivering. <laughs> From what you guys can see, it seems to be mostly uh, clear for the most part. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it seems to be kind of peaceful and whatnot. There's a section up here that's kind of uh, closed off to the public. <laughs> yeah, and your military background, Burnett, helps quite a bit in this term. Because uh, people kind of expect you to be around. Um, although it's weird having, you know, Vale students, uh, be there, but, yeah. <laughs> Actually, that, his military background, uh, mm -hmm. is also, what? think about it. it, his military background would help with, mm -hmm. because if you think about it, Vale students, Vale fell, we came from there. Oh, yeah, you guys could be going I found the bar. Get... <laughs> and also, I, I would be... I wouldn't be known by face, but I know my way around. Because I grew up here. I'm curious. Does the barkeep... The barkeep <laughs> definitely remembers me from my military background. <laughs> As you guys walk into the bars, that's apparently the first place that your group decided to go to. Um, uh, you know, I'm going to put you in here. This is a nice town, by the way. I just, I love this building. But anyways, these guys walk in there. Uh, bars are the best way to get information. Uh, for the most part, everyone's too drunk off their asses to get, uh, to really hide much. As the bartender, it's like, Ha ha! Azul, my boy, you've come back. It's good to see you again. Good to see you, too. <laughs> we need some info. You need some I info? Look over to... Well, I need you to pay your goddamn bar tab. I look over to Azul. The, uh, I paid him off. <laughs> what? I like paid him Zool. extra too. <laughs> nice. What was that the amount? I go to Zool and say, "Hey, boss. Uh, you said uh, he has information, right?" Bartan is like, "I have I information about every part of this city. You see, everyone comes in here for a good drink at some point or another, and every story has been told under these four walls." 
Oh, that's great. Um, see, um, Azul here, I'm more, uh, well, part of my team here from Vale, actually, we started working under Azul. So mm-hmm. right now, um, we're actually looking, he's looking into uh, the warehouse details. Oh, those things, yes. A couple of yeah. days ago, uh, the warehouses started burning down. We assumed that it was an arsonist. We have... <laughs> We've had a lot of difficulty with people as late since you know Vale fell and all the stuff about the Atlas military and their secret scientific processes were all released into the public and all that other fun junk. You know, everything like that. You know, slander to write down the names of the Atlas, you know, corporations and whatnot. Just thrown aside yeah. the fact that we may have lives or something here. Who cares? But anyway, so somebody, you know, lit up the, the warehouses to the north of the town and they decided, you know, bomb the place. Took out most of our mil- or most of our um, hardware and, you know, military aspects and whatnot. Uh, we still have a lot of robots, though. We are definitely not shorthanded. We're just not quite as good as we used to be. So, uh, I look over uh, at this bar and I'm just looking at him and say, I kind of understand why what you feel like i'm from atlas originally i went to vail i got a beacon and things happened there personally i don't blame ironwood for it happened stuff happens um he was just trying to be cautious personally i blame what happened to vail Specifically, I feel bad for saying this, but I blame it on Ozpin. He didn't give Ironwood enough time to, like, execute plans. If you really think about it. Well, we don't hear much about Mr. Big Old Ozpin over there. Rumor is that he's dead, though. No one can really find his body. Yeah. No, no one has really much connection down to Vale as of the past few weeks, so not a lot is heard besides rumors and mischief caused by the youngins. But, uh, yeah, from well, rumors that we've heard, man's dead is a doorknob. Or he could be kicking around like a ghost while he turned. It's kind of, you know, we get some weird stories. I've heard one story of him being a siren. That was a weird one. I've heard one of a lot about him. Mm-hmm. One, I've heard a lot about the maidens in him for some reason. Oh, that old story? Yeah, we have a lot yeah. of uh, old stories like that. Uh, the maidens, especially the uh, the winter maiden, uh, we got a story that she takes residence here. Uh, no one really knows too much about you know where things are. Some people say that there's a secret vault hidden under town, um, and you know places around there and stuff like that. Some people believe the vault is in the direct center of town. Some of them think it's in the warehouse area. Some of them think it's in Mantle. And you see, why well, personally? Believe a, is that the vault is actually inside of Mantle, and they abandoned it a long time ago because some kind of mischief that happened in it. It might have been bad luck, or it may have been something worse, we're not entirely sure. But that's what I personally believe it is, because I've heard a lot of stories back then. <laughs> I look at his little after a while, like, mm-hmm. what's this for, boss? <laughs> Ask him a question. I want okay. some more drinks, bartender. Uh, okay, um, I guess he wants more drinks. I look over to a bartender and ask, have you heard anything besides I quick, What's the like? Wow. <laughs> um, I look over to him and ask, Did, have you heard anything like what's going on with the Snee Dust Company? Because from what I heard, something happened with like a mi- that white sneak was missing from what I saw. Ah, I ran yes, into her. the young heiress. Well, not heiress anymore. She was uh, removed from that position when she skipped really? out on her own family. Well, from the rumors that rumors that we've heard here, we get fawns from all places and sizes, as well as you know normal regular humans going everywhere. And some of them work near the. Uh, you know, royal family, and they hear some whispers. And from what we've gotten so far, the young heiress has left town. Completely left even the, you know, city of Mantle itself. Uh, before I use that 14, um, I ask him, is, uh, is her father looking for her at all? Like, no is anything longer. being done? 
He doesn't particularly care what happens to the poor girl. He stops after she left. He believes that if she cannot come to deal with what he what he has given her and what she has earned in life, he will simply be passed on to the next one. Well, all I can tell you, well, that's good. I'm glad that he doesn't have to. Personally, I I personally knew Weiss in uh, at Beacon. Did and my puppet find anything? Something. Hmm? It's not really. She wasn't the nicest person. Personally, I believe that I could give her father some information about her that would possibly even uh, be crucial to Atlas itself. Interesting. So, How a young one like you could find that information would be very interesting indeed, especially since you probably knew her. Uh, it's pretty hard to get to her, him since all, do all doors, all areas are locked. Um... Do you know any way I could get to talk to him? Is there you would any... have to go through some security personnel, but that's mm -hmm. kind of difficult to get to. Uh, we have a couple people here that probably be able to escort you to that area, but uh, mm -hmm. wait until it joins. Uh, and, and rest in terms of your puppet, uh, your puppet has found Mantle. Um, definitely, he is uh, at the moment just kind of away. Uh, but you did find Mantle, and you can see that it's a uh, it's a lot less, a lot more barren than this place is. Uh, so it's probably a likely spot for the um, uh, the vault to be. I look over back to the bartender and say, "Well, thanks for information. Um, I should probably catch up to uh, the boss and figure out what we're gonna do next." Mm -hmm. For information, though. Hmm. Ain't time, young fella. If you want to get any more information, pay me some more. Honey. We got all kinds of it. Don't worry. I'll be sure to come back here. Thank you for the information. See you later. Mm -hmm. Before I leave, I've got one question for you. Mm -hmm. Also, here, he hands 50. Um, how much Leanne will he, is he paying for good information? Mm, About 500. <laughs> yeah. Okay, he comes from 1,000 yeah. Leanne. Ooh, thank you. He puts it away. What is what you want to know? Any sites of any ruins or anything besides Mantle? Any ruins or anything that people can have found? Well, for the most part, uh, anywhere other than Mantle. Why is it keep double clicking? I hate you. Which one was first? 17. 17. In terms of uh, a place other than Mantle, there's not been a lot of ruins. There have been a lot of rumors. Uh, some are in the man. Uh, are in direct center of the city of Atlas. Some are in the warehouse section. Some are on the outskirts of uh, Atlas. And some are even, you know, in some more floating areas. But for the most part, those are all just gossip, rumors, and wild goose chases. We've had people scour for years and years trying to find something of that sort. And the only one that they can't really seem to access would be in the one side of Mantle. So that's probably your best bet if you want to go find something. You know, go... Sit on that rooster as it starts running around the town. Mm. Very well. Thank you. Mm hmm Anytime. So, uh, we're gonna walk out, I, I guess, right? Yep. So you, you this was just an alley, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus I walk God. over with the others to him. I'm pretty so, good at vanishing. <laughs> yeah, you are. I look over to everyone and tell them, I'm going to give some misdirection to Atlas. Well, um, you guys might, you guys might want to go and get to Watts. I'll be able to catch up. I'll give some, I'll try to get some information to, in quotation while I say information, to mm -hmm. the Shiny Dust Company saying, since he was, since White was taken off the mm -hmm. air, that she's actually helping an ex White Fang member mm -hmm. and helping with a White Fang member that joined back with them, the next one also. Wink, wink. <laughs> Interesting. So I'm going to go and do that while you guys get to Watts. I'll catch up to you afterwards. Mm hmm. So I'm assuming the rest of you guys kind of uh, leave him to his business. Uh, 
you find out from Weiss. Wow. You find out Weiss that they are currently on the way to, uh, nice. On the way to, uh, Mistral. Thank you. Uh, on the way to Mistral. They haven't already gotten there yet. Yang has been fuming, uh, ever since. Yang also seems to be, um, more angry than normal, really. Uh, yeah. just, you know, more hyper, more active, and just her anger seems to be off the charts. You assume it's because of guilt, um, or it's something of that sort, because that ha has a really large effect. Um, but he, Weiss just finds it kind of strange. She's never seen, you know, Yang around someone after they die, though. Oh. So who knows? Uh, what about Team Juniper? Uh, Team Juniper appears to be on their own missions at the moment. Um, they're trying to... Uh, go around places, see if they can help anyone they can inside of Vale. They're sticking around almost purely inside of Vale for the most part. Mm. That's about all the information you learn. Mm. Mm -hmm. But anyways, so uh, you're going, we'll put you right there. And they're going, we'll put you right there. There we go, because... Uh, so, uh... <laughs> Pulled they go that off. way. I, I'm over here talking to, uh, security detail. Mm -hmm. I t I talk to them and tell them, hey, I got some information that, um, Mr. Sneed might want. It deals with his daughter and so the White Fang. I think he would love to know. Hmm. How do we know this information is true? Well, I wa I ran into. You and ran she into was helping the mistress. Why, why Snee, Yes. Hmm. I found out something about her. She's helping an ex fang member by the name of Blake Belladonna, and an an, an ex white fang member. Also, that has rejoined the white fang after run in with them. But I don't know the name of. It. However. I do know that they ran into Adam Torres at the same time. Mm. So, I thought he might want some information. Mm. I'm also a student at Beacon Academy that actually was born in Atlas. I personally didn't agree with Ospin's mm. interesting methods. I think Mr. Snee could also use some information on that veil. I'm gonna help him in the long run. One of them presses a button on the gate as the gate slowly starts opening. We may escort you in now. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. They start walking with you as you slowly start getting into the uh, the place itself, uh, and eventually you come up to uh, you know room that has the her father inside of it as he simply looks up from his papers and looks at you. He looks very tired. Yes. Hello, Mr. S Hello, Mr. Sneed. I have some information that might help you um, get your daughter. At the same time, I understand she's there the same one. Was, was a good choice on your half. She was very the best of heiress, was she? My daughter think... is of no concern to the general public as she is now no longer even here. Well, she still has a Snee name, and I think you might want She's working with an ex-White Fang member by the name of Blake Belladonna, whose partner they ran into, Adam Torres. I think you might want to give her so she <laughs> doesn't get into any trouble with the Snee name, don't you think? Hmm. Every part of the Snee has now removed her from their thing. She's no longer heiress or even part of the family. If she wishes to team up with heathens such as the white as the White Fang, she may wishes uh, she may do as she wishes. She shall instead mm. be murdered with them if we catch her. That's good. That's good. I also have some information that on husband mm. and Ironwood that might help you also. He raises his eye. You, you see, I found some interest about uh, uh, one of Iron top scientists who is actually blowing up a lot of the military here. His own personal 
um, what was her name? Diana. Diana Palandina, uh, whatever. Palandina. Um, I found out she's blowing up a lot. She's the one that's also blowing up a lot of the warehouses. I think that could get you on a good set of Atlas Council, don't you think? If he raises Iron his World. eyebrow. And how do I know that your word is true and not just trying to make it so I try to frame somebody, which causes me to be even worse off? Well, you see, I've actually gotten into my own investigation. You see, I was born in Atlas, and actually I worked under you not too long ago. And um, personally, I don't think you remember, but I was one of your best um, miners at the mines. Personally, I don't really care what you did with the company. I think you did a great job. Personally, I may be of, of some fondest DNA in me. Personally, I don't like being a fondest. They don't agree with what uh, you're doing. And I can tell you right now, I don't care what you're doing. They can the white fang, fondest can die from but um, I can tell you right now that Iron Woods, top doctor, I actually saw the bombing firsthand. And there's also, um, I saw the fighting of an ex scientist, head scientist, Dr. Arthur Watts, against her. Hmm. And they're both. So you're fighting telling me that this Diana, the head researcher of my own facilities, who has made nearly all of my machines for the last 20 years, is now fighting an ex-scientist who was kicked out because he was so determinedly evil, yes. and she started blowing up her own factories in order to make it so he could not use them for evil. Yes. He also... But you also have to think about it. They're blowing up stuff with Sneed Dust Company... Seth, she shouldn't be, even if she's blowing up so he can't, she's blowing up, up stuff in Atlas, which personally I don't agree she should do, even if it's for the greater good. It could ruin Atlas's reputation. Mm -hmm. Personally, I'm sad that I left Atlas to go to Vail. I was personally in a bad place at the time. The White mm -hmm. Fang don't certainly agree with my family. They did kill them off altogether. So that's another thing me and you. Hmm. The White Fang are a nuisance in both name and I eyes. Should take I your guess. words under consideration. Now then, uh, is there anything more you wish to add? Um, yes. Uh, do you want me to? I can give you information for other stuff anytime. I could possibly be an info for you. That's all, you don't have to pay me or anything. Just consider it a thank you gift, because Weiss was a pain in my side at Beacon. Consider it a thank you gift for that. Hmm. Do you know of her location? Um, from the last time I saw her, they were actually headed to Mistral. Hmm. And I think they're going after... Uh, I don't remember the name, but they're going after someone and I've also heard, I think the Bronwyn tribe is in me, but I don't know where. Hmm. But I don't know if that correlates to where, if she's going. We shall have, Mari. I have a team looking out for them. Mistral is very difficult to deal with. The family is a very large issue. I understand, sir. Now... I'll give you my scroll number if you need anything. Please don't hesitate. I will happily give you some information if you want. My character actually finally speaks up and says, I actually also have a grudge with the White Fang myself. And how do you have a grudge with me after what I did? Is he here with me? I forgot. I think he walked with you while the other two... Uh, yeah, so the other two... Y'all walked over there. Yeah, so y'all are over there. I think... Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. No, it's okay. Y'all walked with me, so I yeah. think we all. Yeah. So, you, so you, well, you could just say I have my care. My character also says I'm considering what I did. Yeah, you're good. So, what are you saying, those two? No, I was just saying. Uh, my character can also say to uh, 
to uh, if he needs my help, he can also let me know because I have a grudge with a white thing myself, and I would happily put them in the ground. Mm. You see, me and my teammates here both have grudges against a thing like you do, so we'll <laughs> happily help you with them. And if you run into a certain Adam Twist, don't hesitate to call. He is very dangerous compared to other my fang members. Personally, I have a grudge against him. He is the one that killed my family. And I think he also blew up. I think he's mainly the one to deal with the most of the snee dust that keeps disappearing that was in Vale. And from what I heard, he was also the one worked with Blake Belladonna, like I told you, on the train incident back before Blake Belladonna went to Beacon. I know this because I went on cover for my, let's just say I work for a commanding officer um, for a military. Interesting. At this point, Azul walks forward and he's like, puts some kind of tape over your mouth. Not very sticky tape, but still tape. Uh, and start explaining uh, Weiss's personality um, to him, as well as uh, Blake's personality. Um, detective, a normal human that has come to see as a close friend. Interesting. I'm going to punch the <laughs> He nods to you. Um, as he's simply like, if you have any more information about whereabouts, do let me know. Uh, it'll be interesting to take her down and put her as an example for the rest of the world to see what happens when a schnee falls out of line. I hand him, uh, with still tape on my, th- I, I, mm-hmm. I hand him my school number. I mm-hmm. also motion for the knight's character to hand him a school number so they can contact mm-hmm. us. Here. <laughs> yeah, that's dang it. Don't forget, um, anything of the White Fang, we have Oh, played. wait. And in exchange, we'll give you information on what. Does Janine, does, does Winter look at my eyes, actually? Because uh, I don't have my eyes. Winter's room at the moment. Oh. Yeah, Winter's quite a bit away. Oh, uh, I mean, not Winter, um, I, I mean, um, Jack and Shani. Remember, my eyes are not human, really. Mm-hmm. He notices them, but he decides not to comment, um, simply because kind of rude to comment to most people uh but he does notice that you're not quite human uh which of course for a snee is not always the best route to take but he seems to get uh, decent information from you guys so he's don't use you till the well runs dry as the phrase is yeah. <laughs> he, he noticed uh, i'm a fun as mm-hmm. he knows i hate them uh my thing yeah so, for now i'm just <laughs> but anyways so he nods to you guys and sits back down at his chair. You may now leave. And Thank you very much. And also, a heads up, watch out for mm-hmm. certain mm-hmm. other aspects. I'm thinking Weiss might come back to take the company. Be sure to appoint Whitley as the heir because something about Weiss doesn't seem right. She might take it from me. So you might want to make I've already quick put, use. Um, Wesley as the heir to uh, the family. Weiss is no longer connected to the family. If she attempts to get into Atlas once more, she will be defeated. Try to take That's on the girl. Good. I don't have a problem standing up to take you on. Very well. <laughs> Shut up, dude. <laughs> Zool. 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 I take on the Mike, girl and I don't have Mike, since out. I guess we're away from Jack and Ishan, I guess. Uh, well, Zul started talking with him at this point. Uh, saying My that... character is... Hmm? Oh, sorry. Go ahead. No. Yeah, he's saying that uh, if, you try, if he tries taking on White Shani, uh Azul will just straight up punch him. <laughs> More or less. Yeah. Uh, Mike. Yeah. Hmm? I guess my character my, hmm? my character walks away from everything far away from Harry says oh I hate that man <laughs> I'm still in the room while mm-hmm. um, Azul's saying this I look over to Azul 
I actually unsheath my katana and put it against him so and say, Don't threaten Mr. Snee while we're having a meeting. It's not wise. <laughs> the man waves his hand. <laughs> it does look I, I, I resheath. I put a resheath my sword. I'm sorry for my compatriot here. But <laughs> I'm I will also let you know that um I think they might be here in the next year or so. At, at the at the earliest, I would say they would be here uh, after they go to Mitchell. They might come. So it's be just warned. A no issue. That's just... uh, my okay. I have highly trained teams. I even have one that is directly under Ironwood, specifically set out for people like Am Toros and the rest of the Motley crew. Wait a minute. Do you have? Um, do you have? I was what just gonna it? say, do you have information on what? Because she might need. She might need to be watched because she's pretty close to wise. When I get suspicious, what do you get suspicious for? I said Team Phoenix. Uh, I doubt it, since they were at the Vile Academy. Okay, like my character that. says. Okay, my character asks. Would one of those guys actually be um, one of Team Phoenix? I noticed back then they were highly trained. Mm. Oh, the yeah, entire team of Team Phoenix is highly trained on uh, Atlas uh, military. Technically, they should not have been allowed inside of the uh, Bio Festival, but I would wave them in regardless. Yeah, that guy with the dang smoke stuff. He was very, almost looked like he was experimented on so much, or he took experimentation. Mm. His semblance is a very strange one. They wouldn't recognize me because I'm right now on my. I was a female in that fight. <laughs> yeah. Each one of those four app people from Team Phoenix, their skills were highly remarkable. Is that, is that the team you and my replacement guy, uh, you guys fought? Hmm? At the Vital Festival? <sighs> yes. I, I, heard, I saw the fight. How famous. <laughs> I even watched that. God, that was. Ugh. Well, I want to say thank you for your time, Mr. Sheen. I think we should be going. We're we're still investigating uh, the warehouses to make sure nothing else gets blown up. Hopefully, we can take uh, Arthur Watts in for questioning. I do thank you for hearing me out, though. Yeah. It was a uh, game information is always interesting. Yeah. Knowledge is power, as they say, and the more knowledge you attain, the more easier it is to make conclusions. Mm. Oh, before we go, I do want to make one quick comment. Mm. Uh, have you heard of Cordovan, from, uh, the commander in Argus? He probably has. I don't remember him, though. He, he would know her. Uh, mm. He, uh, Ironwood, and would both know her. Mm -hmm. Well, just to let you know, if Ironwood ever crossed the I would definitely recommend her for the next journal. Don't make Winter the next journal, because she's too close to the job of being it because of Ironwood. If she's so close to Ironwood, she's a loose cannon, per se. Hmm. Maybe. Winter Schnee has always been a more military-minded than most, plus having a Schnee as the general is a very good boost for popularity, so I shall debate on that. If anyway. You, if you put why Schnee, I'm not Winter Schnee as the ge uh, general, then that's good, but I would definitely say second in command the court dope. Mm. At at the best, if not, switch positions still. But either way, it'd be good publicity for you guys. Also, um, Jack and Shani, if I may have a favor to ask of you, is it okay if I ask you something, if you've seen anything? Nothing really important, though, for What's you, that? anyway. Have you seen any ruins, like any of your miners found any ruins or anything, like an old building besides mm. Mantle? As of late, we have not. 
Uh, most of the areas around here are barren wastelands of ice and desert. It's not a fun place to be around, hence why we are in the sky. Old ruins do not have many. We built mantle on top of some. Uh, that was on purpose, Ooh. but I just quickly got abandoned after a long period of time. Oh, I'm just I'm gonna shit on everyone. <laughs> uh, Ironwood, Ozpins, and Crows playing now. <laughs> oh, cause I'm acting as Crow's second student, and he has mentioned the Queen and all that. Sure. So I know some of the inner circle secrets. From not all and not everything. But I would know that Ironwood, Ozpin, and him are hiding stuff. Oh, so I I look over to uh, Mr. Snee. Hey, um, shut up as well. Um, I look over to Mr. Snee and uh, tell him. By the way, the reason why I'm saying watch out, Ironwood, is because my um before I left Atlas, I was actually under. Um, I was a protege of Crow Bronwyn. Him being a drunk and all got me into trouble, but he also mentioned something that would be interesting for you to know. Him, Ironwood, and Ospin love to keep secrets about the world. So, you ask, ask him about something. Ask Ironwood if he knows anything about the Queen and tell him Something to, that's that's the only like secret I fairly know about is that we're battling an enemy. <laughs> we don't know the name of, but they go by a queen, and she's the queen of the Grim. They love to keep a secret so much that they're even hiding some sort of relic here in Atlas, and they don't want to use it against her. They're too scared. It's too powerful. So, I would definitely ask him about that, about the secrets he's hiding. We'll keep a lookout. Of course. No. Anyway, I want... should, we, should, should we be heading to Mantle? Yes, we should. We should to... Before we do that, we should probably head over to the warehouse district near uh, there. See if we can find any clues. He's you guys are writing on paper, out. and before giving you a slip paper, here is access to the the warehouses. Ah, thank you, Mr. Steen. It'd be interesting to see where you take us. Yes, thank you. If we get any information, we will definitely. What was that? Part? All right, I guess. Oh. You guys are gonna walk out and just see a destroyed vehicle <laughs> beside me. <laughs> we walk out. <laughs> As you'll. That's all why. <laughs> they were about to hit me. Yes, but... Th 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 okay, well, come on, buddy. I didn't have any other reaction. I just <laughs> kind of broke it. Okay, just I, I get your yeah, point. Just guess, smash it. <laughs> yes. So what you're saying is they almost hit you. Yes. Okay. Come on, buddy. Let's get away from these rooms. Then. See, they almost I, hit him. He meanwhile, it's down. over on the sidewalk. <laughs> I walk it's actually on the sidewalk. <laughs> yeah, so... They I started swerving to hit me, and they just... Yeah. Yeah, so I walk over him. and grab him and say, Come on, buddy, let's move away from rude people that tried to hit you. I drag him away. <laughs> <laughs> let's not try to see him. Anyway, you guys go enjoy yourselves. I'm gonna go to Fam's Hole. I, I say, we're coming with you for now. Um, let's go, guys. <laughs> we need to catch up to Watts and actually eat and add eight minutes. So mm -hmm. while we're on our way, we can eat it. Yep. Let me pull out the, the big map. Whoosh. There you go. This is, you know, Atlas, of course, this is Mantle. Uh, a lot of the warehouse district is kind of like at the top of Atlas, more or less. But there's also some over here, and then there's the boats, of course. There's a, more boats, more boats. There would probably be this more. one that would be... Yeah, this is uh, where most the the, the the stuff is. I don't have map for that, so I'm just going to move you guys over. But um, that's where a lot of the okay. warehouse stuff is. Mantle, of course, uh, looks like a desolate wasteland of actual ruins. So, more than vaults or we leave this entrance. 
You don't know head over to here. Because you have the biggest mark. I'm going to use you. There you go. Who? Uh, Rose's character. He has the biggest box. So I'm going to use him. It's uh, easier to grab him. <laughs> okay. But, so. Where are you guys going? We're going to this. This is where it was. Spread. So um, we head over here. I look over mm-hmm. to Rose's other uh, character and say, We'll head over to the warehouses on the, since it's on the way there. Mm-hmm. And then we'll have the mantle. Because <sighs> we need to grab uh, Paladina, whatever her name is. I keep. Paladina. Paladina. Paladina uh, for the vault anyway, so. We can't get the vault yet. I don't think we can access the vault. Well, it's yeah, either Paladina. It's either Pelandana or... Paul, oh, yeah. Stop. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> say it. Say it any way you want it. Scientist any woman. Way you want it. That's the way you need it. It's either the scientist woman to... or Willow Schnee is the winter maiden. So mm-hmm. we, we grab um scientist woman and we can open the vault if she is. Mm-hmm. If not, we kill her. Not a, a loot. It's a, it's a win-win for us anyway. We Mm-hmm. Or we get in. Well, if we can, we can try to contact Watts and see if he can access the vault, or not the vault, but go inside the vault area. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I I contact Watts really quick. Hey, can you lead the scientist to, to the vault and make for us? As you call him, you hear very distinct sounds of explosions, uh, very fire. Uh, and him shouting, uh, sometimes incoherently, other times it's shouting at her. But he finally, you know, is hiding somewhere in here and panting. He's like, who is this? What's up? Can you lead, it's... uh, can you lead her to the vault area? And we'll meet you there. You can hear him shuffling around before a gigantic explosion erupts near him. He's like, I can probably maybe do that, uh, at the moment. She, whoop. You hear another explosion. Yep, she's trying to kill me. Uh, a lot of this stuff is either on fire or frozen over. It's not very fun, not very pleasant, and it's extremely painful. Okay, uh, how far are you? What's your coordinates? We might be able to run over you and meet our way. It's about right there, more or less. Okay, mm-hmm. so I would say we probably are right here by now, right? Uh, probably something like that, maybe a little bit like right there ish. Oh, God, okay. my stomach. Yeah. So if you can meet us by yeah. like halfway the store, mm-hmm. like right there, then we could possibly uh, intercept her and make sure she doesn't kill you, <laughs> so to speak. It's like, well, you guys can try doing that. I keep trying to get closer to her, but every time I do, she pulls a knife on herself. It's uh, very back and forth nowadays. A oh. knife on herself? Yeah. Wait, I just realized. Hmm? Uh, I I put I I put the speaker on. I could probably get there fastest to you right now, while the others get the mantle. I could probably help you get to mantle while the others are there by the time we get there. Would that hmm. work with you, Professor um, Doctor Watts? That could help. You know, it's like explosions are constantly erupting around him, and he's now sounding like he's running. Yeah, you see, one issue with the freaking maidens, you hear them, uh, you know, start shooting some stuff, is that whenever you try to kill them, they tend to try to kill themselves faster. Okay. It's a very large issue. So, I might have an idea. Jesus Christ. All the 19s here, folks. <laughs> so, um, I look over to uh, Midnight's character. What's your idea? Mm-hmm. <laughs> You about just it. knock. You just freaking backhand. For you yourself. know, you know he's ruining the story with that. <laughs> I know. I find this hilarious. Um, so freaking as you're running forwards, uh, you have to like hold up your sword and block the uh the arm that's swinging at you. <laughs> so I'm not knocked out though because yeah, because you both got 19s. So, I also over. have the whiskey and stuff in me. <laughs> Just started to down whiskey. <laughs> so uh, hold on. Actually, I've got an idea. Hmm. 
So is Silver knocked out actually right now? No. no. They're yeah, they're both like in a standstill, like blocking each other, um as uh I'm trying, trying to, to get knock to him. Him out. Yeah. And I'm trying to run to get the wall. Maybe it's time the masked thief comes back again. Should he, should he put on his mask and his disguise again just for that? Yeah, okay, yeah. He puts on his disguise. He knocked again. me out. My character <laughs> puts on his disguise again. It's like, you guys go to the vault. I'll deal with this. Besides, remember, if I get shot, my son once heals me, remember? Uh, at the I moment, can't really. Yeah, Silver's about to get knocked out. You can try. No, I'm knocked but... out. I'm uh... knocked out. <laughs> so, really quick, let's talk about this. Azul, you're fucking with the story. <laughs> Take this seriously. Story. Uh. There, there is a story. <laughs> so, so, um, yeah, Roasted, you just watched a friggin' brunette just, like, step on silver. Okay, I'm gonna do something really stupid. What's that? If I get a low roll. Okay. If I get a low roll. Okay. <laughs> Um, I fart to wake them up. <laughs> you what? You <laughs> farted. Oh my god. To wake them up. You just you just walk over to freaking silver. You push his little way. You sit down. You just start farting on silver. <laughs> so really quick, before he farted, I actually wake up and for anything, I accidentally in the ass with my dagger. <laughs> So, uh, I, 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 I'm a buddy. so before he farts, I step in the ass with a dagger. So, uh, I'm already awake, bitches. Now. Well, that's a new kind of wet fart. That's a new now, kind of wake up. now, also, oh, I stabbed him. I stabbed him, so he didn't fart. On me. He farted near me because I stabbed mm -hmm. him. But not, yeah, not not the so, most pleasant way of trying to release so the part here. I, I'm getting it looks like a really bad case of hemorrhoids. So I'm right now I'm right now getting slowly getting up now. <laughs> the nine. Meanwhile, he has a lot. Blood dripping down onto. So I'm still getting up. No, like I'm still slowly getting up. Mm -hmm. Oof. I, uh, let me see if I get up. Yes. I look over to them, flip them both off, and use my speed semblance and get the hell out. And speed semblance, your I 12 does. My speed semblance is. My speed semblance is too fast. Away, uh, immediately my speed semblance is too fast! Up. Yeah. As Silver started I running away immediately, as, uh, you know, Zul re realized that he was standing back up again. Zul is not as fast. Um, so Silver managed to actually run past him as Midnight just, he starts, I don't know, he just, he stands up after his ass has been poked by a knife, and he starts trying to smoke, and then it explodes in his hand, and he's just looking confused. <laughs> Rogue is so, just so. in the background, just like, uh... I was originally going to grab his shirt, mm -hmm. but if it was going to be like an 11 to 13... It was just going to wind up being his underwear. <laughs> well, you didn't grab me. Because I'm Hi, too Rogue. fast. Rogue, you're here. <laughs> so, Rogue, real quick, so, let me let me catch you up on the last, like, two minutes, okay? <laughs> so, on the weirdest two minutes that we've had so far. Uh, Azul <laughs> knocked out Silver just by freaking, like, backhanding him and stepping on his head. And then... A Spartan kicked him in the face. Yeah, and then Rusted tried waking him up by singing over him and farting. To which his, uh, Silver woke up and then stabbed him in the butt. And then friggin' uh, he started running away. Azul tried catching him and failed. And then freaking Rusted grabbed a cigarette, put it into his mouth, and it exploded. And now Azul, uh, you know, Rusted is just confused. Azul is trying desperately to catch up to him and failing. Uh, Silver is running away to Dr. Watts so Dr. Watts doesn't die horribly, and you're standing there looking like somebody ate your toast in front of you. I yell at this character, get to the vault. <laughs> you know, I walked over to Rogue and gave him three pounds of brisket. <laughs> 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 
Are you sure you want to do that? <laughs> I, I am. I am here on the call right now. I'm just. Well, I'm, like, I'm just rolling so for fun. I'm just rolling for fun right now. All right, get back to me. <laughs> yeah, I, but, I'm just. I'm just listening. It's like, what the hell did you guys get into while I was gone? Yeah. Okay. If so. it was a 19, it was going to be a pizza. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. So, so yeah. So, uh, so as Silver started running away, I'm assuming the rest of you guys are now going to Mantle in order to just kind of prepare things for the Winter Maiden. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Don't fuck this up, Rogue. <laughs> I understand you. <laughs> Rogue is just so confused. Midnight, He's just like, what? Midnight, He's like, I'm I'm, I'm, I am. I have questions. Confused and a little pissed off because <laughs> nobody bothered to tell me that they were coming up here to Atlas and. <laughs> It's He's okay. So it's okay, but by the way, uh, heads up, our characters all um, we we I'm in now uh the Sneedos company just to get wise hell, <laughs> and I'm also uh, look and act different when it comes to actual battle. Mm -hmm. Okay. But anywho, so, so um, well, you because I I have only a little bit of time left. Sorry. Um, but anyway, so as you guys are running through the place, uh, trying to, you know, get to Mantle, and as, uh, <laughs> yeah, and freaking Burnett is just bashing glaciers with his bare hands. So, You're not quite guys, sure um, hey, guess what? I got an idea, guys. We should name this title Michael Bay Episode. <laughs> so I, I catch up to Watts, I mm -hmm. grab him, put him <laughs> under, uh, like, like, pick him up, like, people are, like, carrying, like, oh no, okay, gotta get out of these ruins, like, they're <laughs> under my... He's under my arm, mm -hmm. just being carried. I'm carrying him like that, and I look behind me, see the yeah. scientist, and be like, "Hey, bitch, come and get us." You notice that she has a, a very similar um, uh, look to her that uh, Sister does when she's using her powers. Uh, instead of her eyes glowing, it's actually her arms glowing uh, blue, more or less, as uh, ice glaciers seem to pop up constantly around you. The source of the explosions uh, was, of course, her throwing massive, massive crystals of dust at you guys, which is just yeah, nuking the areas around you. So, so, um... We actually make it just when they get there. Sorry to interrupt. Who's yes. attacking us? Uh, uh, so I'll basically, you. Uh, you guys have seen so far in this uh, that the Winter Maiden, to the best of you guys' knowledge, is Diana Polandina, the creator of Penny Polandina, uh, which you guys have seen previously. And she's currently yes. been she has been attacking Waltz for several days now, and Waltz can't do anything about it because a she's a maiden, uh, so he can't really kill her because if he, if he does, who knows where she's gonna end up. B he can't really do so, anything to her because she keeps trying to kill herself if she does uh, in order to prevent him from capturing her. Oh and C God. it's kind of a terrifying situation. <laughs> I just fucked over. And freaking tastic. <laughs> if yeah. it was eleven or above, I carried one. A ten or below. <laughs> I I look at Watts. I toss him to Azul. <laughs> and say, oh, "Here, take care of this." <laughs> now, oh, uh, now <laughs> I look over. He's walking up to a maiden Azul. <laughs> hey, you know, I have my ways. <laughs> you Can know, I do something impossible. What's if that? he does, if he if he gets her killed, I'm going to get mad. <laughs> Okay, no, I can't. Yeah, not yet. You know, as he I does walk closer, the knife is against her stomach as uh, she's keeping a very large range between the, you guys. I look at Azul, I shoot him in the shoulder, and I say, Get the fuck over here, you little bitch. Let me, Jesus Let me see Christ. what I can actually it do. It just barely affects me. Let me see what I can actually do right now. Please give me a high roll. 13. Okay, close something. enough. Hmm. Um, um, I'm going to get ready to train my grim parasite right <laughs> to basically uh, grab her by the face and knock her out, if possible. <laughs> she is about 400 feet away from you guys, so she's keeping a large distance between you, mainly because she's heard rumors of what happened to the Fall Maiden, uh, as well as a couple other things, and she is taking every possibility, because she is a scientist, to keep you guys at as far a distance as possible, we're trying to kill you. You also do well, notice actually, that her knife never really wavers from her stomach. Or actually, um, 
Can I actually use that 13 then to, to transform into a miss? Uh, you can try. She is... <laughs> is she distracted by my sitting down fixing Not food? Not in the slightest. <laughs> Uh, you do oh, notice that her dear. using a power has actually shifted you backwards, more or less. Okay. Um, so she's literally keeping you all in one general area. So I use that 17 mm -hmm. to get her after I throw my... Uh, mm -hmm. And I look at him. Uh, I threw the scientist... Uh, not scientist. Watson. Cool. So mm -hmm. I use that 17 to look at her now and be like... Hey, follow me, you little bitch. <laughs> and I run to the, eh. the vault. Mm -hmm. uh, I use what the hell? I uh, use Okay, sorry. What are you doing? Uh, what the hell? I'll uh <laughs> roll to see if I can um sneak sneak my way up. What are we trying to do at this point? <laughs> trying to get the vault open. So oh. is fucking I'll see if I can sneak into the vault or you close can. to the vault at least. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can yeah. see. This wolf's fucking up the mission. Oh, Actually. okay. How yeah, am I okay. fucking so up the mission? So you decide to uh, blend in. You're you trying to walk. You or seen you all. So you just kind of like walk into the vault area where you might notice a massive door. The entire area is very, very pretty. Um, It looks uh -huh. like, you know how the, the show the, the ball, the... the Mm -hmm. Spring Vault is all about flowers and stuff. This one is actually more this about is... snow and snowflakes. Snow, and yep. kind of things. Uh -huh. Actually, um, can I use that 19? Uh, 19 do so... what? Um, I'm just going to have my Grim Parasite ready to basically... Um, I say to my Grim Parasite, Listen, do you really want... Listen, I need you to use your fullest powers and go as fast as you can and stab and knock the knife out of her hand. Can Could you do be? that? No, it's like okay. uh, his Grim Parasite. Oh, okay. It is about 400 Listen, you... foot distance, so you would have to actually get much closer in order for it to go. I know, that's what I said to it. And I said, mm -hmm. like, if you do this, I'll let you have a little bit of control over me when it comes to fighting, okay? It seems to respond relatively well to that, though you do know that its max range is not above 100 feet. It's I know, that's why I, that's why I say, when I get in close, I want you to take the knife or just basically stab her arm and see if you can try to web her face, because she could possibly suffocate a little bit. Mm -hmm. but anyway, so, so uh, if you do that, if you do, mm -hmm. and I just say, if you do that, I'll let you have control over me for a few fights, all right? Just nice. nothing too serious, no explosions or nothing, but I'll let you have a little bit of control. Can almost see it grin. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. So, you guys, uh, so the current situation at the moment, and I do apologize. She's chasing for... me now. What? She's chasing uh, me now. If you want. Uh, she is at the moment. Because I will, uh, remember I said. Yeah. She's chasing you, but keeping the others at a large distance. Again, she is analytically minded. So while she's having you as the main focus, they are still in the back of her head. But anyways, so the situation as is currently, I do apologize, Rogue, because I'm not able to really push this much further because I have to go and cut some chicken. Uh, but anyways, so uh -huh. the situation as it is, which we'll come back to, and we'll see how this gets resolved, is at the moment, uh, Rogue is inside of the vault area, looking at how beautiful uh, the architecture is, looking at everything, and noticing the massive, over, like, 70-foot-tall door that you know is host to a relic of sorts. Um, Azul is sitting more or less in front of her, uh, at obviously a distance of like 20, 30 some feet. Uh, she does not pay him too much mind though, but he is still an enemy, so she's keeping him kind of at a distance. Uh, Roasted and Dr. Watts are near the front of the entrance, trying to coax her in there more or less. And uh, Azul, uh, not Azul, uh, Silver is running around the area um, more or less. So, uh, and, I talk, so hmm? yeah. and I talked to my grim parasite finally, and I gave her a little bit of acknowledgement. Yeah, the grim parasite is relatively interesting. Is relatively interested in this, uh, but we shall see what would happen um, in the future. Uh, she does not seem to be interested in Azul very much, uh, though very confused as to why he's trying to make food for her, and she believes is poisoned. <laughs> Starting to become a very big worry. Um, but anyway, so if you guys, I'm, I'm just hmm? looking. 
She's chasing me. I'm running backwards. So I'm like, hey. I'm like Ruby with her semblance, but running backwards. <laughs> yeah, she's, she's keeping you all at a great distance, and considering you guys are trying to get her into the vault, she's keeping the vault at even a larger distance than the one that she's at. Mm-hmm. But anyways, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. Uh, check on the next episode to see what happens in this tale. Will she die and the power go to somebody else? <laughs> Will you guys be able to open the vault finally? Will you guys be able to shoot each other in the face and make it so you can't open the vault somehow? Because you guys seem intent on doing this. Will another group somehow join since this is the place of uh, Team Phoenix? They could potentially join as well. Will oh, Dr. No, Watt mantle. say something? Right. Yeah, well, Dr. Watts bring up something. What will happen next episode is entirely dependent on how much I want to step on your balls. So... <laughs> Sin, I already Sin. have enough of that when... Uh, Sin, actually, pay. dude, okay. And he's I fucking will up pay the mission. You, I, will, I will pay you $30 for having Team <laughs> Phoenix not appear, okay? <laughs> I will be a little bitch next episode if you do that to us. I will and make I'll you like be a here. living... Yeah, no, right uh, here. Just... Uh, we we, we shall see. I don't I don't really like taking bribes, but we shall see. I like getting paid, so maybe I don't know. Uh, <laughs> Wait, I just feel like November first is the day after. Yeah, November is coming here soon. Uh, Halloween is almost well, here. Uh, this video is actually gonna be posted a couple weeks after Halloween. But uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed seeing all this stuff, and we'll see what kind of horrors we do. We might be doing a Halloween podcast as well. By the time this video is posted, we'll probably already have a Halloween podcast posted. But we shall see what happens. Uh, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. If you guys did, like, comment, subscribe, and comment below what you think Rogue will be doing next episode. Will he just be standing there and chatting himself, or will he be shocking himself? If he- <laughs> Wait, I just realized. Obviously, Sin, obviously I, just I just realized. like to shock other people, but... I know, right? Yeah. Your order I just has feel not like been seen to want to do that lately. What was that, Mom? We have, if you think about it, we have, um, I know some, pe- some people in the audience, might- mm-hmm. but if you think about it, Azul, you're a berserker from Space Saint. <laughs> you are the big buff dude who wants to beat everything up. I'm over here being like, Y'all fuck off. Midnight, I'm Brick from Midnight, Borderlands. Midnight, you, you, you over here being Gilgamesh boy over here. Rogue, you're the sweet pea of the group. You're, uh, you're sure. You're sure, I mean, I'm Archer. Everyone else no, is you're, you're crazy, sweet but Rogue, we like you. <laughs> Rogue, you're the sweet. Well, I feel I, bad I'm... that he has to team. Go, go ahead. <laughs> It's like, well, I feel bad for you. I guess we should end it here now. Mm-hmm. He's yeah. a sweepy of a group. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Uh, post, post what you want. My, um, my, uh, good, yeah. Yeah, post what you want in the description. Or the comments. I post what I want in the description. Uh, post what you want in the comments. And uh, we may read it at some point or another. And we'll probably... I think something that I might be interested in doing is after we do the jump chain uh we might do like a podcast kind of like talking about the ruby things kind of like finishing it it depends on you know if we get popular enough for us to do that or things to interest but that's a thought we can have uh just kind of be a, a a podcast that we'll do after i don't know each it's just like we act like in. characters but the actual character maybe i don't i you know, know we'll just act like we are currently but just kind of explain some things that happened or things that we want you know bear upon or release some vents of frustrations that we had during the campaign so we can fix for future ones i don't know it's just something i had to thought of just now uh so we'll go I'm into more depth of a podcast i know right? i'm just thinking of a podcast where we all mm-hmm. are have our characters personalities <laughs> be super be difficult. Like... a lot of the, a lot of you guys uh have just the same personality so uh, as you do my character character. would not care my character would actually be like keep me out of the room of azul's i will kick his face (laughs) but anyway so hopefully you guys enjoy this and we'll see you on this next episode suck a dick (laughs) see you guys bye